Many people will tell you that you shouldn't do a PhD if you don't want to be a professor, but I actually disagree with that. Hello, my name is Maria and I have just finished my PhD in Applied Mathematics at the University of Cambridge. Stay until the end of this video and I will reveal what I will be doing next with my career. But for now, I'm going to talk about the million dollar question should you do a PhD or should you not do a PhD? And of course, this is a very personal choice and any advice that I give now, you know, think about whether it's suitable for you or it doesn't really apply in your situation. Usually what um, the advice that I got from, you know, talking to people, reading around in the internet is that if you don't want to be a professor, if you don't want to have a career in academia, then you shouldn't do a PhD because you're going to be very, um, not, it's not, you're not going to be paid. You're going to be paid, um, but you won't be paid much. And if, if, if you only get an offer for an unfunded PhD, then I definitely wouldn't do that. So like, make sure that you're getting paid, but you it's, you're going to lose other money, but also on advancing your career, usually, um, relative to what you could be doing elsewhere. You can, of course, you can do the PhD and then you can go back to industry, but for many roles, the PhD won't be helpful. Of course, there are some roles specifically for which you will need a PhD, but honestly, I think those are very, very rare. Um, but you know it, it it might be the reason why you do it so that that's one of the reasons why even if you don't want to be a professor then it might se make sense for you to do a phd but all that is true uh but what's ironic of the situation is that even if you do a phd you are unlikely to become a professor because academia is very hard uh, to get into like a tenure track position and, and eventually get tenure and have the job for life that so many people aspire to. It's highly competitive. And, and so most people who do PhDs end up not becoming a professor, even if a lot of them want to. It's true that some people are, have highly successful PhDs, but then they, they decide they actually don't want to be a professor, even if, even though that's what they wanted at the beginning of their PhD. So you are allowed to change your mind any, at any point um, throughout your career, of course. And, and so that, that, that advice of, well, only, you should only do it if you want to be a professor. That's what I thought going into the PhD because I definitely, my plan A was that I wanted to stay in academia and uh, throughout my PhD and that's why I went into the PhD. However, at the same time, I was aware that like, you know, it is unlikely, it is hard and that I should still be enjoying it because of two reasons. If you're not enjoying the PhD and you're only doing it because it's possible or like there's a small probability that you'll get to be a professor, then it's kind of not worth it. But also it's a really bad sign if you're not enjoying the PhD, then um, that academia or any kind of jobs that will absolutely require to have a PhD, require you to have a PhD, then you're not going to enjoy those either. Um, so, you know, you can go into a PhD, but make sure you're enjoying it. You can always wait if, if you're not enjoying it, especially in the first year. Um, you know, you have time to change your mind. But on reflection of my PhD, I enjoy it so much. I had so much fun. Like, obviously it was hard. Like, especially the first year, first and second year, I think, well, actually I think every year it kind of got easier for me. And, and the first year especially was kind of tough adjusting to it. But that's because well, we can remember the bad parts, but overall it was like amazing. Like I had the time of my life. I had so much more fun than I did in undergrad, um, you know, with the flexibility that it gives you. And um, I think it also suits my 
kind of skills better than undergrad uh just focusing on an area that i really wanted to be good at and of course i should mention that i chose to do my phd in not only in applied mathematics but um in infectious disease modeling i went into the phd knowing that i wanted to do it on that topic and it was not an easy decision when i was applying uh, it was either that or theoretical physics for me and um theoretical physics was why i originally thought that i would do when i was in undergrad and, and throughout undergrad i was so sad on doing that but then i kind of started to think more about the implications of my work for the world and trying to do something useful and and at the same time that i was thinking about that and i was coming up with the time where i had to apply for phds then we had the covid pandemic and that really showed me that i could use mathematics and especially applied mathematics to do something useful i saw a lot of mathematicians and modelers um trying to help out with the pandemic response and broadly like biosafety and biosecurity are things that um i feel are very important and perhaps neglected and i thought there was like a very specific um gap that um well not, not not exactly a gap but that i could do things there with mathematics and that's still my long-term goal i, I want to get there um I'm, I'm not claiming that my phd already has solved anything or, or help anyone in a tangible way but anyway i digress like that was kind of my why of why i chose to do a phd as well because i knew specifically that i wanted to do it on that topic and um it was hard because I, I wasn't sure if i was going to enjoy that topic more than i would theoretical physics but actually i enjoyed it so much doing uh, epidemiology in my phd i had yeah i had so much fun and that's why um well that, that that's a hint for for the end of the video but i'm, I'm still working on on that area because i i really like it and i feel like it's useful um and that brings me to my final point that it's that even if you know the phd was completely useless like i still had so much fun that i'm i'm happy that i did that i spent four years doing that uh even if it doesn't help anyone uh that i hope that i will or or that it will allow me to pursue a career in which i can help people um indirectly through my work but really like those four years of the phd were just so great that um I, I would do it like I, I would tell my past self well even if you know that longer term you want to go some do something else like the flexibility that I had of course not everyone is going to have that if you're on a wet lab uh you, you might be working like really long hours you might have to go into weekends to take care of experiments but maybe that's what you like maybe you like growing your cells your bacteria in like a petri dish or whatever it's definitely not for me but uh yeah I had so much fun Going to PhD, and I guess maybe you can tell from other videos that that I've shared. Um, and so, of course, you should know what you're doing the PhD, and and it is a good idea to have a long term career plan. But you know, if you can afford it to not earn a lot of money during a few years of your life, you can trade that for the flexibility or the just the experience of still being a student then i think it's still definitely worth it um as i said a lot of caveats with advice but that's my experience that it should be something that you're going to enjoy now ideally help your career but also like it's fine if you're not sure how that's going to fit in your longer term career plans as long as you actually enjoy it on a day to day you like doing the research and you find that it's meaningful for me like i had this long term that i still have this long term idea of where i want to get with a phd but i feel that for some people like that might not be needed and, and and they might still have a lot of fun and not regret doing the phd and i think i know um a few people who are like that so please let me know if if you have any questions about how to you know more more in depth about how to actually enjoy the phd and and make it um something worth for you of course it's it's not easy uh but as you said I, I had a lot of fun and now the final part of the video 
is announcing what I'm doing now. Um, I have started earlier this month a postdoctoral research position in the US. So I have left the University of Cambridge. I am now a postdoc here in the US. I will share more about it on a future video. So please subscribe if you want to follow along the journey.